middle school was the hardest. That's that's when I was made fun of the most. And of course, people who made fun of me were black folk. <laughs> I was often the the running joke in class. This is a time where everybody's trying to like identify themselves and they're trying to maintain their role you know in the in crowd as a matter of fact it was two particular guys that made fun of me the most during middle school i still remember their names they gave me hell during those days i mean it was like on a daily basis and i really could not understand why is my dark skin a topic why is it that my own people hate my color the most of course they would tell me it's not a big deal you know lighten up but I'm like, but you're not the one whose feelings is getting hurt. You're not the one being targeted. So it's easy for you to say it's just a joke because you're on the other end of the joke. I guess to some degree it was bullying. It's hard to get on the bus and go to class and be in spaces where at any point in time you're made a target. I kind of just went into like my inner shell and I would rarely come out. That's really what happened with that. Being told I'm pretty to be dark as if dark-skinned people are inherently unattractive. Men telling me I would be more attractive if I had lighter skin. I actually had an ex confess to me that his family would make fun of him for dating me. And they were also making fun of me for being dark-skinned. So I was like the house joke. What I later realized was that that particular ex wasn't really attracted to me. He was attracted to my body. He was attracted to what I could do with my body. Uh, makeup, oh my gosh, makeup was a challenge. I went years without wearing makeup and I still don't really wear makeup that often. It was really hard to find makeup artists that could work with dark skin. That was a huge challenge for me. What really traumatized me was at one particular time, many, many years ago, I decided to go to a makeup counter. I think it was like in Macy's and I had someone do my makeup. Of course, at the end, I looked like a freaking clown. I personally believe that when you do makeup on darker skin, it requires a certain skill. And everybody, every makeup artist does not have that. is that I rarely see people who look like me in media. I rarely see dark skinned women in the media, in uh, media print, in advertisements, videos, TV, movies. Once again, dark skinned women are often considered unattractive. There's also other stereotypes that have been attached to dark skinned women. Dark skinned women are automatically seen as mean. Dark skinned women are not seen as feminine. They are often seen as hard and strong. Dark skinned women are not seen as like soft and delicate and feminine. Those characteristics are typically assigned to lighter skin and white women. People will assume I'm from Africa because I have a dark skin complexion. And I know a lot of times this comes from just straight up ignorance. Everybody in Africa is not dark. There are light skinned people in Africa. There are white people in Africa. And people need to remember that Africa is a continent, okay? So the complexions range from one end of the spectrum to the other. Because black folk who never been to Africa, who has this like stereotypical image of what Africa or Africans look like, they have this, they have these jokes about Africa and they, they usually assign these African inspired jokes to dark skinned people. It's just whatever. So interestingly, tattoos, believe it or not, even though I know many dark skinned people that have tattoos, there are actually tattoo artists that do not like working on dark skin. As a matter of fact, I inbox a tattoo artist on Instagram and I was telling him that I wanted a particular tattoo, but the message he sent me was, there are rules when working with darker skin, mostly eliminates a lot of colors. Use of black is the key. I'm gonna get that tattoo and we'll see what happens. I've also had some instances where lighter skinned women thought they were better than me simply because they had lighter skin. Back in the day, I used to be a stripper, right? And I was working in the club one night and I was doing my thing, getting my table dances. And one guy looked like he was really interested in getting a table dance from me. 
So I asked him, would he like a table dance? And he literally was like, your body is hot and fine as hell, but I just, I can't do it because you're too dark. So I'm also a vocalist. And back in the day, I was totally in love and still in love with rock music. And so that's what I was aspiring to do. I wanted to have a rock album. Someone very close to me at that time told me that America is not ready for a dark skinned black woman singing rock. He said I was better off singing R&B and wearing outfits that mostly showed my ass. But out of all of my experiences, I never wished that I had lighter skin. I wasn't willing to bleach my skin. Hell, I spent more time in the sun. I wasn't trying to like not be in the sun so I won't get darker because some people do that. But I felt like rejecting my darker skin would be the ultimate slap in the face to my bloodline of my heritage. My skin is the color it's supposed to be. And you don't determine my worth. I do.